Reebok had it all planned to a T. Number one, Angel Reese was wearing Dennis Rodman's Pistons jersey as she arrived at Wintrust Arena in Indiana. Number two, it was game night between the Chicago Sky and the Indiana Fever for the fourth and final time for the WNBA regular season and people were expected to watch the battle between Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark. Number three, Reebok president Shaq was in attendance. Come game time, Angel had Reebok's latest basketball shoes on, the Reebok Engine A. So stick around and let's talk. Welcome back this fresh pair, smash the thumbs up button, share this video to your friends, follow me on Instagram, and if you're new here, subscribe to my channel for updates. That said, let's dive in. Last October 2023, Reebok made it clear that they were returning to performance basketball footwear after appointing Shaquille O'Neal and Allen Iverson to top positions in the brand's basketball division. In the months that followed, Reebok has been busy building up the image of Angel Reese as its marquee endorser. In fact, we've seen Angel wear Reebok Solution mid-tops in custom pairs for multiple games. And slowly but surely, Reebok was building things up to this day. In a video I posted a couple of hours before tip-off, we were expecting Angel Reese to debut Reebok's latest basketball shoe, and we were not disappointed. Roll the clip. For now, the shoe does not have a name yet, and neither does it have an identified ambassador. As of today, only Angel Reese is the prominent Reebok endorser, so unless Reebok has already signed a big name, there's a possibility that the shoe could be the signature shoe of Angel, or at least she will have player editions of it if the shoe is a non-signature sneaker. Stick around as we get more details. And now we have some details, at least based on what we saw on Angel's feet. So ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at the Reebok Engine A. This is the Reebok Engine A. According to Reebok, the shoe has been in development by the Reebok Advanced Concepts team since 2022, which means it was already in the works even before Angel Reese signed with the brand. The primary tech feature of the shoe is the ERS or Energy Return System which appears to be bottom loaded. According to Reebok, the ERS uses nitrogen infused foam to absorb energy and propel the foot. In conjunction with the ERS, the Reebok Engine A uses what the brand calls Super Float Foam on the heel and forefoot sections. Surrounding this setup is a high-density foam material for stability along with a TPU shank. For the upper, the shoe uses an exoskeleton build consisting of a lightweight synthetic material. According to Reebok, this revives the 90s Mobius aesthetic. The shoe has a molded heel counter along with an internal counter for enhanced lockdown. For the outsole, the shoe uses high abrasion rubber with multi-directional modified herringbone traction pattern. For the debut colorway, the shoe uses translucent rubber. The underfoot cutout of the outsole gives a look into the super float foam. Honestly for me, so far so good. Feel free to disagree, but for me, I think Reebok is on the right track with this latest shoe. It's bringing back the classic ERS, hopefully with a contemporary build while introducing a new type of foam material. The overall design likewise gives a nod to the 90s Mobius aesthetic while using modern materials aka lightweight synthetics. It's now up to Angel Reese to drum up the hype for the Reebok Engine A, at least in the meantime. Pairs will be available in spring of 2025, which could be any time between March 20 and June 21. In the meantime, let me know what you think about the Reebok Engine A. Post your thoughts in the comment section, smash the thumbs up button, share this video to your friends, follow me on Instagram, and if you're new here, subscribe to my channel for updates. This is Fresh Bear, thanks for watching, peace and love to the fellow underdogs.